in tonight's Big 12 collision between the Oklahoma Sooners and the undefeated Baylor Bears. He put it to Lovett in the flat, and he's got space. And the first down, and much more barreling down inside the five. First and goal as the back out of the backfield makes a big play. Love it in the game on first and goal. Brewer going to keep it, and he scores standing up, and Baylor takes the lead. First down from the 30. Play action again. Brewer takes it downfield. Sean Mims has got it. Touchdown, Baylor. What a start in Waco. But Denzel Mims matched up against a true freshman in Davis and watch how he gets beyond him now he stacks him uses that left arm to get beyond him how about the throw by Charlie Brewer I mean you can't do it any better that time Baylor nice job of chasing it down from behind Hurts oh, is chased did he escape fall to the ground it's a scrum Baylor Blake Lynch Blake Lynch co-captain graduate Bottom of that pile, and it is a barely takeaway. Brewer, the other look downfield, and another big run. Sliding down inside the five, Baylor threatens again. You get down 21 to three. It's a big, it's a big series here for OU. Brewer keeping straight ahead, scores for a second time, and Baylor building a big lead. Third down as Baylor crowds the line. Hurts has time though, steps up. It's a long throw in the traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Graylin Arnold. Arnold down the sidelines. Can he beat Hurts? No, the quarterback gets off the block and forces him out, but it's a second Jalen Hurts turnover and Baylor in business again. Jalen threw a couple balls last week that were questionable and could have been intercepted. They were dropped by the Cyclones. Not by the Bears tonight. Brewer from the pocket. Fires for the end zone. Touchdown, Mims. His second. And Baylor is pouring it on against OU. Hurts has time. Zips it. Touchdown. Catch made in traffic by Austin Stogner. True freshman tight end, his first career touchdown, and Hurts delivered a dart from the pocket. 28 yards, been very reliable this season. And he knocks it through. Bears standing up, coming after Hurts again, gets it out, and has a crosser wide open, and Rambo slips a tackle, stutter steps, still alive, knocked down hard, but it's first and goal, Oklahoma. And Hurts was looking to run, now tries to fire in the end zone, caught, touchdown. Stodner, the tight end again, is becoming an unlikely touchdown scorer for this offense. That is a great throw by Jalen Hurts, bringing Stodner back. Michael Hasty is the back, he's got the football, and he breaks free. Hasty, center step, loses it, ball is out, and Oklahoma finally has a takeaway. Pat Fields recovers the fumble. They're going crazy over there because the five-game takeaway drought is over. Cardinal Motley knocked the ball out of Hasty's hands. They just let this play pop. Watch this thing open up. Right through the middle, right here. Murray's got to make that play, right? Instead, he overruns it. Now they're in the open field. Now you got to count on a safety. They catch a break with Motley. The corner ends up ripping the ball out, goes right into the hands of Fields, bounces up right there. As you said, Chris, first one since late September. Looking to throw again. Nope, it was just a fake. Loses the ball as he crosses the goal line. Baylor has recovered in the end zone. Did he break the plane? They're ruling it a fumble recovery by Lynch. Grounding and pounding against this Baylor defense. It's a first down throw instead. And the catch is made by Weish, who spins it free and is going to score. And Oklahoma cutting the lead to just one score. Lincoln Riley told us this week on our call, it's a matter of time to these younger freshmen start to make plays in the second half of this season. In the second half so far for the Bears. 
Play action. Slam. Catch made by Hazelwood. First and 10 inside the 20. 86th overall. Hurts rolls, looks to the end zone, touchdown, wide open is Braden Willis, Oklahoma, a PAT away from tying the football game. 31 yards for the lead. No problem for the freshman, still perfect on the season, and Oklahoma is in front. They've got to get the ball near the Oklahoma 33-32 yard line. Mims still alive on the catch. Makes a move and stopped at the 40. Very surprised that Alex Grinch and OU in such soft coverage, zone pressure where he settles back in coverage. Brew almost bobbled the snap. Now Farmers, and this one is intercepted. Given a second chance, Benito makes the pick. And a takeaway of all things is going to seal a massive comeback victory for Oklahoma. They do it again. He's right here. Instead again of pressuring, this time he's just going to settle back the right place at the right time. Gets right into that throwing lane. Those long arms, he's able to extend out and come up with that interception. Watch him reach out to make that play. The biggest comeback victory in the long and illustrious history of Oklahoma football. They come from 25 down to win it without their playmaker.